What's up you guys, it's Antonio here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some basic skills on CapCut and how you can kind of edit your video, add some captions, add a little bit of music, um, and just make your videos a little bit better. So go ahead and head over to CapCut on either your phone or on your desktop. And then the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do here is go ahead and add the text or the captions. Now you can manually do this by clicking in here, having a drag and drop, and go ahead and doing that, clicking on trending. You could add text effects to that stuff if you want to manually kind of add that in. Um, or you can just go straight over to the captions option here that we have on the left side. And you can click auto captions. We'll click generate. Obviously you want to have a lot of talking in the video if you're going to use this. Um, otherwise it's going to be useless for um, something that doesn't have a lot of talking. And let me go ahead and grab charger real quick we are about sorry I didn't realize computer was about to die okay so you're gonna be able to go ahead and add those captions in there by clicking on the auto caption you'll see all of these options down here all of the captions listed you'll be able to double click in there and you can either choose to change how it's being presented, the different kind of font styles and stuff like that. You could choose text to speech. You could animate it and have it slowly come in like that. Or you could go with the presets. I tend to like the black outline with the white interior. And then from there, you'll be able to have that go to everything. So you can do auto lyrics, manual captions, auto captions, you can do find and replace, you could even do translate, and you could have the captions pop up in a different language. And then for audio, you can either select one of these sounds or you could go on Google and you could say copyright free music. And you could use a website like Artlist io that's going to give you the ability to have copyright free songs from there but let's go ahead and take a listen to no, we definitely don't want that okay this is something a little bit more chill um, we could add that to the audio down there what you want to do is go ahead and change the volume quite low so it's not overtaking your audio in the video. Let's see what this sounds like. KDP saying that I needed to fix the orientation of the book. Yeah, so that's good. My voice is a little bit quiet in that video so I don't want the music too loud. Uh, we have our captions in there. We automatically changed all these captions. And then we can go through the effects. And if this is a video where I'm just talking, same thing as I'm doing here with the screen recording, so I wouldn't really add any effects and stuff like that. Um, but obviously you can if you were to have a video that was more like, let's say, like vlog style and stuff like that, then I would add some, some transitions and some effects to kind of cut between those scenes and make it a little bit more interesting. And you can obviously also go through here and you can add in some, some filters to make it look a little bit different. It's obviously not going to look good, same thing on the screen that I'm recording, but again, if it was, you know, vlog style or anything like that, the filters are going to be a lot more applicable. Um, the main thing that I would be using is these, uh, you know, editing options where you're able to cut and split, the fact that it's hosted online so you don't need to really pay for any software unless you want the premium version of this, or you don't have to store any of the data natively on your computer so you're not going to run out of space. You can have all the captions instantly added and then you're able to go through and you can have it change the size of your your videos and stuff like that for export automatically so we can export it in 1080p you can change the file name you can select your frame rate and all that and if you want to change up your uh, ratio If you want to change up your ratio, you can go over here, and this will be what you're going to do if you want to have this change into a format that'll be better for like YouTube shorts or Instagram shorts and stuff like that. But yeah, that's about it. 
let me know what you guys want to see next time, what you want to learn about. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.